Idashimase! Hello and welcome to Fataris' Kitchen. I'm your host, Chef Fataris. It's time once again for Shoot 'em Up Saturday. And on the menu for this Saturday, we have Trouble Witch's Origin, Episode 1 Daughters of Amalgam. Trouble Witches is a dojin soft that originated back in 2007. Recently, it received a Steam update, Trouble Witches Origin, and that's what we'll be checking out today. What kind of taste does it have? Let's get cooking and find out. So as far as the modes that are available, we've got an arcade mode, a story mode, a challenge mode, and Trouble Witches AC. Now this is actually a blind playthrough, so basically a taste test of Trouble Witches Origin for myself. I haven't actually played the game at all. All I've done is just looked at the options, which is pretty bare bones for a PC release, I do have to say. I do know that Trouble Witches AC is the arcade version of Trouble Witches that went and came out back in the arcades on the Taito X2 arcade board, if I'm not mistaken. Trouble Witches did also receive an Xbox 360 release, uh, Trouble Witches Neo. Unfortunately, that one has been pulled from distribution, so it's no longer possible to play that version. I'm not sure what kind of differences the Trouble Witches Origin will have with Trouble Witches Neo. For our purposes today, to go and keep things light on story, let's go and check out the arcade mode. So we've got 60 seconds to choose a character and five characters to choose between. So in my research of Trouble Witches, there were originally three characters that were available, a fourth you could go and unlock. So Origin does add an additional character. Uh, it's possible she was a Neo, uh, that I don't know. So we've got Koza Kuda and with an interesting looking shot style. With uh, what appears to be a straight shot, Aqua with a spread shot, Yuki with I'm, I'm hoping that homes, but hard to say, and Cease with a very straight shot, probably quite powerful. For our purposes, let's go and take the top character, Kozakura. What the way that her shot is at, drawn intrigues me. Degree of difficulty. Oh, I ran out of time. I guess we're playing under so easy. Stage one, one way ticket to Erland. Ai Himlen? So we have a standard shot and A familiar. One of the elements that I've read about for Trouble Witches. Oh, there's a shop too. What can we buy? I don't know if we even have any money. <laughs> Welcome to the Pumpkin Girl shop. So we can go and buy a card that'll give us a swing shot, arrow, or bubbles. Oh, bubbles will be very helpful. We don't even have enough gold. So I guess that being the case, we'll just exit. So in addition to our straight shot, we also have, or at least we're supposed to have, a magic circle that our familiar can draw. So the way the magic circle works is if enemy bullets touch the magic circle, they slow down. Have we destroyed the enemy that's fired those bullets? Then it's possible for us to get big gold. When the enemy dies, the bullets trapped inside the magic circle will become points. But, if the bullets manage to exit the magic circle, they become yellow homing bullets that zoom directly in on our character. So that's something to watch for. It's kind of a fun risk-reward system. We do have over 6,000 gold, so we should be able to buy something at the shop this time around. 
An MP amplifier slightly increases your MP. Seven star card. Fire seven star shaped shots. It covers quite a wide area and is very useful. I like the sound of that, so we're going to buy that one. We have enough to buy more. We can carry up to three cards. So, of the other cards that were, that were available, they're not all the same. I don't have enough to buy that four, so that's disappointing. Let's try the straight shot arrow. Thank you for shopping with us. Oh, I lost track of myself for a moment. You do have to be careful about your MP usage, as the MP bar does drain while you're using magic circles. Here comes our first boss, one of the Daughters of Amalgam. Chime Brown is apparently her name. GDP, the magical battleship? Well, I can slow down the shots, but I'm not sure if that's really helping me. Let's try and activate our 7 star card. So, the magic cards we buy in the shop are... Unfortunately, limited time use. We've taken down most of our magic bar. The shots have gotten smaller and there's more of them. And bam! Stage one, clear! Achievement unlocked. Punish the poor genius chime. I don't know, I kind of feel like the bully, but we'll take it. Scoring at the end, moving on to stage two. The forest of Magorok. Oh, so I just discovered if there are medals on screen, if you cease fire, all the medals that are currently on screen get sucked in towards you. How much easier way than rushing to the floor of the screen to collect them. So the shop has a bubble card, another seven star card, ooh, a medio card, and a bound card. We're definitely checking out that medio card. And let's grab a bubble card too. Good luck out there. So, so far, I'm digging the cute hand-drawn sprites that Trouble Witch's Origin has. The mechanics are also fun as well, using the magic circle as a defensive structure as well as a point risk-reward system is neat in my mind if it's not a mechanic that I'm really good at using. Too often in shoot 'em ups I feel that my strategy is more straightforward, overwhelm the enemy if you can. Another bound card, a spear card, and a wave. 
So we do have some more money. Oh, we're maxed out on cards. Never mind. Sorry, I guess I didn't need to shop. In lieu of something like a screen clearing bomb, a mechanic like the Ma magic circle just seems like a welcome and refreshing change of mechanics. Big money, big money. Assuming we're coming up on our boss. We got a pair of twins, it looks like. Twins are always in pairs. Wrinkle and Mel. Panio and Osul. So, okay. Uh, for a second there, I was thinking they were going to be linked, but it appears they move independently of each other. Their shots... So far, the seeds that they've been throwing out, I can destroy with my own shot, so... It appears the magic circle does not slow down the spike balls. Wow. Punish the doppelgangers. Those two were easier to defeat than I would have imagined. Arstoth the Giant reigns the realm of rhyme. I'd like the look of those welds in the background. So, with a couple stages behind us... Let's try and use those magic cards that I've got stored up. So this is the arrow card. A straight shot. Oh! Uh, when we defeat enemies using the special weapons, they... Leave special star medals for extra points. Down to my last life. Let's check out the Meteo card. I like that. In closing, oh, just a quick uh, thought there. Um, as far as continues were concerned, the original title, when you continued, apparently it sent you back to the beginning of the stage, but the arcade version as well as like later patches did have you continue where you died. Apparently that appears to be the case with uh, this particular version of Trouble Witches. So, in conclusion, my thoughts on Trouble Witches Origin? It's a definitely a fun title, so I really like the mechanics that are in use here. A heart vessel, gain one life. Do we have enough gold for it? We do. Another seven star card and tail card. Great for defending behind us. I wonder if there's some way to actually switch which card you're selecting. If there is, I can't figure it out. The interesting 
magic circle mechanic, as well as the ability to gain gold for shops, and a relatively fun art direction would make this a title that I would suggest looking into. The plus flavors for me would definitely be the art and the fun scoring mechanics that the Magic Circle brings to the table. The soundtrack is not really like notable, so... There's that. And so far, from my limited playthroughs, there's not much I can go and say that would be a negative to this title. It's always great to see updates of older shoot-em-ups released on Steam, so I'm really happy to have this one added to my personal library. Well, that should wrap it up for this week's episode of Shoot'em Up Saturday. As always, I want to thank you so much for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Long, 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 the magical snake.